Hello my friends and welcome to today's tarot reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs, but the sign that you are here probably means that there is a special message for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Now today is the 10th of July, which is a Sunday, the day of the sun. I don't know, there's something really special about July and the sun. Um, I don't know, it just feels so like sun, summer. <laughs> I love it. Um, but we do have a really interesting um, transit today. Interesting with that card. The sun in Cancer is sextiling Uranus in Taurus. So today is a brilliant Sunday for you to come into contact with any kind of old ancestral habits, patterns, and particularly if you're around family or anything like that, um, and to kind of show that you don't you, you, you're not going to fall into those same patterns again. Not only can you transcend that, um, you can rise above it and break it. It's just, it's almost like you're breaking out of the shell of the crab um, into something new, into something more dynamic, into something that just kind of helps so much growth and helps everyone around you to grow in a way that you could have probably never thought of before. Um, Repetitive patterns that are occurring within your life. Um, that's also something that, that you know, is, is time to break out of. And it really feels like this Sunday is maybe a good, whatever you want to weigh, whatever way you want to do it. Um, if you want to do it in relation to talking to other people, like with your um, with your family or anything like that, or even just things that you know that you've inherited from others, um, or your parents, obviously. Um, yeah, it's time to break them. It's time to to grow out of that old skin, that old, old shell. With that being said, let's see what the tarot has to say. Um, dear spirit, what messages would you like to communicate to the collective today? Hello and welcome to all of my returning subscribers. You're all amazing. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do consider doing so. Um, I do upload every day. So we've got Judgment Reversed, Three of Cups, and we've got the Three of Wands Reversed. We've also got the King of Swords Reversed. We've got the Six of Pentacles Reversed. We've also got the Page of Wands Reversed. Right. Very interesting indeed. Okay. The spirit, thank you. Wow, a three and a two. And the fool, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so... There may be some kind of possible group mentality dynamic that is occurring here. And it is time for a change within this. It may be quite new, this group. Um, it may be people who have come together. You seem to like be able to enjoy um, your time together. You maybe emotionally connect with each other. Um, you also feel that you've got maybe things in common. But um, there's something that's not feeling 100%, okay, right? Because this King of Swords and this Three of Wands, bear me one second, my darlings. So, yeah, it feels like... A call hasn't been answered. There could have been a lot of learning going on by this new kind of endeavor. But essentially, I don't know, I see this King of Swords as the attitude of this group. Um, and there's a, there's a bit too much intellectualizing going on. There's a bit too much talking going on. A bit too much like, you can't, I mean, it is good to chat about stuff, but it's, you can't intellectualize your way out of a problem. Do you get me? Like, 
sometimes sometimes if you think your way out of a situation then you believe that you can get out of it and actually you can't you really can't um um and also there is a sense of um realizing that thinking this way creates an imbalance within the group it's a learning experience but it's also something that could um cause people to retreat into their shell kind of in an opposite effect so i mean if we think back to what the astrological signs are um astrological kind of template is for today sun in cancer sextiling uranus in taurus so it could be a family situation where um maybe you've asked um, people in your family to try and understand you and also to maybe like back you up like maybe if you know that you're meeting them at a family gathering or something and you want to and you want to you need you need their help basically um you're learning that um they haven't come to your rescue we've got the judgment and um the, sorry the three of wands and judgment so it's saying to me that they didn't they didn't come it didn't come back. It didn't, it didn't go the way it was supposed to. In fact, it may have been a little bit more kind of how you felt that they acted towards you was a little bit thoughtless. Something that wasn't mature, maybe not considered. Um, and it really causes an imbalance in the... Or it's actually recognising that you have... You've actually that you were you were getting what you could you know you were like you're only getting pittance in a way and now you're like what i was i was what um okay so is this the way that this person is going to react or these people are going to react within this this place um i'm just trying to think yeah i mean it could have been like the, and i think i think when you get on I, do you know what i see i see cousins I see cousins or brothers and sisters, they're coming together and they know that there's a particular character or a particular, like, maybe um, a patriarch that, um, you know, either it's an uncle or someone like that who acts like a certain way when they're in group gatherings, yeah? So they've said, oh, can you, like, like, oh, this, this, say for example, it's an uncle. Um, oh, can, can, can you, like, say this, can you back me up, like, when I'm around this uncle because, like, you know, he says these things and it upsets me. Um, and then you're realizing that the uncle like probably favors one of the two other cousins. So they're not going to say anything to that, to, to that uncle because they're like, oh, you know, and then you're realizing that there's been a favor game the whole time. So in the relation to this kind of ones here, it's like realizing what you have and realizing that your own home, your own idea of home and your own idea of person is actually going to be what helps you here. You can't rely on anybody else. He stands alone, this guy. He stands alone. He's not with anyone and he has to do it himself. And it's from the three of wands reversed to there. I mean, it isn't directional in intentionally, but like I'm just thinking in terms of that. Um... And I mean, we do have the four here, you know, there is a sense of like almost that you believed that that would happen, that you, that they would be able to get your back, but they're not, they're not rising to the occasion. It's almost like they're, they're just like keeping stum. And this page of wands is kind of what you're learning. You're like, all right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. That's what I get from this reading. <laughs> Obviously, that's, you know, that's just the situation. But in the respect, it could be like, it could be, it, as I said, it could be like three friends. It could be family. It could be three work colleagues. I think it's more like either friends or family because we have cups. We don't have pentacles. So. Dear spirit, what messages would you... Woo! I like the backflip that that one did, but I will, I will, yeah, I want to take these and I want to take this one too. Right. Okay. So what have we got here? We've got fulfillment, but it was reversed. So there's a sense of unfulfillment because, you know, you've realized that these, these people are not able. So what is it? Hold on. Saturn in Sagittarius. 
yeah, sometimes learning the hard way about your discoveries. You know, sometimes you may discover something that isn't quite as nice as you thought it was, which is which will be this attribute, which which mar which matches quite well with this attribute of seeing if this is a particular cousin that that is favoured by someone that that you feel that has abused you or something like that, or like maybe not even abused you, but you know maybe has talked to you in a weird way or not as like a like a kind of like not nice, you know. You find it difficult to maybe approach this character and um, yeah. I just find that fulfillment, that lack of fulfillment, because you've when you kind of think that somebody's on your side, do you know what I mean? You kind of feel safe, you feel backed up, you feel like that there's a sense of fulfillment, there's a sense of achievement that you can achieve together, you know, with your with your buddies or whatever. Okay, Sutton in Virgo. And we've got riches, but it was reverse. Could be to do with money. Yeah, it could be to do with money. Considering that we've got this Six of Pentacles here and the hand is going the other way. Um, also, we have Venus in Virgo again. Tenth house. Um, so we have two tenth houses and then we also have nine. Interesting. Um, convention. So... It's, it's like the ideals, the ideals of home, what you expect things to be like, what you, what you believe that things should be like. So it's, I mean, that matches all with what I said. Um, and Gemini, uh, moon in Gemini, which is adaptability. And reversed would tell me that there's a lack of it, which again would match with this story. I'm not saying that this story is the actual one, but in terms of like this, this, this dynamic, I think it illustrates it quite well. What's the bottom of the deck saying? Oh, well, doesn't that make sense? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is happening to you. But yeah, watch who you trust. Watch who you trust because there be people that be doing some shiz. And they are trying desperately to, you know, to to get in people's good books for their own ends. There just seems to me like there's a bit of, like, I, I really like this person. But, you know, obviously I've got my own interests at, um, at heart, you know. This is what I'm doing. So, anyway, my darlings, I hope you like this reading. I'm just trying to think how would you cope with this? So the best way to cope with this is, I mean, this is what this this thing is. It's about you gaining some kind of awareness and understanding who you trust. you got your two of wands here. Now, just as much as this is with the person who is exuding this seven of swords and having this seven of swords behavior, you know about this. That's what the beauty is about these tarot readings. You understand it, you know about it, and you can see what the situation is. How do you avoid it? You make sure that you got your own back. You don't, you don't rely on other people, you know. So, for example, if you do enter this situation with a particular, um, with a particular like friend or with a particular family member, just know that one, that they're probably going to try and trigger you because they did before. Two, you have a choice whether or not to react. So your choice is whether or not you decide to like take a breath and gather room, calm yourself down, or you don't go. You don't go to wherever they're going to be. Because whenever there's somebody that's going to trigger you to a state that, you, you know, you're going to be in this space where you're, you know, that's happening and you're going to see that happen in front of you, what do you want to do? Do you want to be humiliated or do you want to just get out of there? So maybe there's this kind of, this kind of choice that has to be made in that respect. I tell you, I would rather be missing. <laughs> I'd rather not be there if that was the case. Um... But then again, also, you have to just be very careful, particularly with family dynamics, because you just don't know, you know, you just don't know who's really got your back. And that's hard to say when it comes to family, because family's blood, isn't it? But I'm telling you, blood, sometimes it doesn't work out, you know, sometimes it's not, you know, that they're not your, you know, your, your friends sometimes are the family that you're born with. So just discern and really take your time 
to be quite um, strategic in your moves in this situation. I hope that helped, my darlings. If that did, please do like the video. Please do subscribe for more, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.